Hi everyone, my name is Shay, founder of the Beauty Institute, and today we are gonna be talking about nano brows and stiff strokes. You could be doing everything right with nano brows. You can have your pattern memorized, you can have the nicest flow and everything, but if your strokes are stiff, it doesn't come out quite like how you want it to. So we're gonna be talking about four things that are gonna improve your line flow, okay? These are really important things. They're a little bit small to remember. They're tiny little techniques. And remember, nano brows is like a whole plethora of a sort of a technique. So there's so many things I have to go right with trying to make a pretty nano brow. But we're gonna break it down to um, a few little things that we're gonna be covering today. Now, this is not everything that's gonna make a nano brow look good, but if you do these four things um, and you pay attention to these four things, the quality of each individual stroke is gonna look a lot less stiff. So without further ado, let's just begin this video and we're gonna be talking about pattern, line weight, line curve, and pixel versus steady hand technique. So we're gonna be talking about um, those four things and we'll cover what each of those consist of briefly and later in this video. This is gonna be super helpful. Um, so stay tuned, we're gonna be moving on to latex and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is line weight, and we are using these latexes from the Beauty Institute. We make the stretchiest, nicest latex material that feels the closest to skin, so if you wanna purchase that, check out our website. And we're gonna be talking about line weight. Okay, so what basically what line weight means and why you should be paying attention to it during doing your nano brows is I'm gonna do an equal line, so. turn that off now this is this is an, a line with the same line weight all around it looks stiff so I'm going to show you a line with different line weight around so we're going to be doing a line with a little bit better line weight or different line weights So it should be darker up here and lighter up here because I was slower here. Or we could do a pixel line. And then later, darken it up. So my favorite way is to do it like this. And as you can see, it's darker and it gradually gets lighter. And I can also control how much lighter and how much darker. So if I go over this line a little bit more from one end and then have it feather out, you also want it to be, this is kind of abrupt, but I'm gonna do it one more time more naturally for you. This is also called a pixel line. Okay. So the difference between a stiff line and a flowy line is just line weight. So when I do nano brows, sometimes I make the top of each stroke dark and the top of it light or I'll make the top light. And, and so I do play with the line weight and sometimes it's darker from the bottom, sometimes it's dark from the top, sometimes it's darker from the middle, but none of my lines look like that. And if they do, then, <clears throat> then the line under it would look different. So when I do different strokes, you know, maybe I'll do some shading or we'll throw in some variety in there. So I think what happens with a lot of nano brow artists or beginner nano brow artists is that all their strokes and all the brow is the same exact line weight 
And that's definitely a style, but it's stiff. So that's one thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes down to stiffness, is if the same color or the same gradient is throughout the entire brow, it's just gonna make it look a little bit more stiff. The second thing I wanted to talk about is line curve. Now, every line that you do has to have some curve and a lot of reasons why your nano brows might be looking stiff is that each individual line looks like a barcode or looks like a really straight line. And giving your lines a slight curve could be tricky because sometimes you can do too much curve. So we're just gonna be doing some curved strokes just to demonstrate that for you. So here is uh, just a flow and I'm using a thicker needle just to demonstrate for you guys um, so you guys can see. But let's say I was going to make these, see these are very slight, they seem straight but they're not straight but I'm going to do everything straight now. Or straighter because it's very hard for me to do straight lines now that I'm pretty, you know, my muscle memory is trained to curve, but these are definitely straighter. So as you can see, like this is just like a little bit softer or like more curvier than this, even though the difference is pretty slight, but with this one, you get this like harshness. And then with this one, you get this like breathe, like it looks like it's just flowing. So that's one thing I just want to cover about line curve really quickly is just not to have your lines too straight or too the same color. If your pattern is too, and I already have this already drawn out from a previous demonstration, but if you're taking your pattern at different points, so I'll show you like one, two, three, four, five. What happens is it starts to look like a fishtail and you can, like it doesn't look blended because you can see like this is one line, one long line then you can see these coming in at different points. So when you do that, the, the pattern ends up looking really stiff. Same thing here, it looks really stiff. And, and this was a demonstration of me trying to do something that a lot of my students submit is like inconsistent, you know, lines where they'll have some really solid ones, they're all really stiff, um, again, really stiff. And then, um, you know, it, the, the pattern isn't, isn't good either so with these two patterns the patterns are not good you know this one has more curve in it but nonetheless the pattern is not good and it's meeting starting at different points so with this one all the strokes are from the same point from here so this is one long line and then these are coming out from that same long line again you have another let's say long line right here then you have one two, three. They do look like they're coming out like from one, two, three, but you know, it, it's so funny because it's such a slight difference between this and this, but it makes a huge difference. Um, now this isn't like a perfect nano brow down here, but it's, um, it does demonstrate, you know, a correct way of doing a pattern, you know, having some different line weights, having some curves in the strokes. So that's actually what people are attracted to because you have different, you know, line weights. There's there's no pixel strokes. There's some pixelation right up here, but um, it just makes a huge difference, especially on the face. Um, at the end of this video, I'll attach some, maybe some videos of uh, my work that you can see some of the, the, these techniques demonstrated on real skin. So in this video, we covered um, pattern line weight, line curve, and pixel technique. And I hope that this was helpful um, to help you also realize some of the mistakes that you might be making that are making your nano brows just look a little bit too stiff. 
Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope that you learned so much in this video. If you have any questions, please reach us via DMs at Beauty Institute. You could DM us. You could also email us at contact at Sayed, which is my name, dot com. So contact at shayalsaeed.com. You can reach us there. Um, we do love to help. We have a full list of courses on the Beauty Institute's website. Um, so check that out as well. Uh, we hope to see you guys there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you found this information helpful and you want to see more free permanent makeup, nano brow, tons of just like fun stuff um, posted. So if you're interested in this type of content, please give us a click on the subscribe button. Um, also, we do have a podcast. So if you do want to check out our podcast, we are launching that soon right now the podcast isn't launched but if it does get launched in the future and this video becomes old on the internet we are going to be dropping the uh the link to the podcast in the description box so if you're watching this years later and the podcast is up and running you will still be able to find the link in the description box below so thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time Bye bye